If you want to be a pro editor or pro motion designer, you need to know how to loop your edits and motion graphics. So I will show you four looping techniques that you can use forever in After Effects. We're going to start off with the most important looping technique that you need to know in After Effects, which is using the loop out expression in its multiple variations. So for example, all these lines will continually repeat across the composition forever because we're using this loop out expression. So I have this line here and I want to animate the position of this line to go across the composition. So I have it start off from the left side and I want it to end here at the right side. And here's the line animating across the composition and you'll see it won't repeat. So to make it repeat, all we gotta do is alt click the stopwatch and we'll type the loop out expression with a capital O and we'll do an open close parenthesis. And now this line will continually loop across the composition forever and this will work with any animated property. There's also two other variations to the loop out effect. If you come here and do a quotations ping pong just like this, the line will just go back and forth forever and that's a really cool variation. And let's say that the initial animation isn't going across the composition. Let's say for example the line is just going to go right there and stop. And with the third variation of the loop out effect, I can do offsets. And this will continue the animation by the same amount forever in any direction that's going in. So that's how you can use a loop out effect to keep your motion graphics going forever. So here's another great looping tip that I want to give here. Let's say you want to loop your video. A lot of people may just duplicate their clips and offset it. And you'll see that the shot ends right after two seconds and I want this to repeat it. So I can quickly right click my clip, go to time and enable time remapping. I'll add a keyframe right on my first frame of my shot and go to the last frame and add another keyframe. And then I'll alt click the stopwatch and I'll type the loop out expression with a capital O open close parenthesis. Then I can extend the out point of my clip and this will repeat the clip all the same layer without having to duplicate anything. So for this next technique, I'm gonna show you how to create these really cool loopable titles that will follow any path. And I'm gonna come here to the top, grab any shape that I want. I'll grab the ellipse tool for this video. And I'm gonna just select our title and draw out this oval based mask. I can go to the text layer, go to the path options and set this to my mask that I just created and it'll take that path. You can reverse the path if you'd like to do that. And then we just need to animate this. So how we do that is we can come here to say first margin, alt click the stopwatch and we can type a time asterisk 200 expression. This will animate the title along the path. And then how do we repeat this? We'll go to effect time, grab echo. We can offset the echo time and then increase the number of copies and increase it enough to where it fills up the entire mask. And that's how you can create a repeated animation for any title along a path forever. If you're interested in creating this 3D title right here, I'll link another tutorial in the description below. Speaking of looping your graphics, you can get a handful of our loop templates for free with the link in the description. You'll get our motion duck extension along with 100 free templates. You can preview and import these templates into any project you're working on and then you can quickly customize them. We also have over 20,000 pre-made time-saving templates available for your After Effects and Premiere Pro projects, so be sure to check our links in the description below. Another great way to loop your motion graphics or video is by using the motion tile effect. So for example, if I apply the motion tile effect to a video clip and if I animate the tile center by adjusting the Y or X values, I'll be able to infinitely scroll my video in any direction that I want. Now let's say I want to repeat this title block forever. All I need to do is select these titles, just go to layer, pre-compose, call it titles, and then go back into the composition real quick and go to composition, composition settings, and crunch down on the width and height until the composition surrounds your graphics. So kind of like this. So back in the previous composition, we apply the motion tile effect and we go here to output width and height. We increase this number by a little bit. This will repeat our work. And then once again, you just animate the tile center. And if you want, you can also increase the phase. This will offset the other copies. And now we'll have this repeated scrolling effect on any graphic or video that we apply the motion tile effect to. One of my favorite techniques for looping custom graphics is being able to use a repeater to create a tunnel or any sort of loop that you want. So for example, I can just create a rectangle real quick and you can create any custom shape that you want, but this is what I'm working with. Go to add and add a repeater, open that repeater up, go to transform repeater one. You can adjust the X position to zero and then decrease the scale by a little bit as well. So we have that separation and then we just increase the number of copies like there's no tomorrow. So then you can go say to offset and do a quick time asterisk negative one and this will animate it. And in no time at all, this will appear to be looping on forever. It just depends on the amount of copies you have. So just increase that number to some crazy amount. It'll never run out. And you can put together really cool creative scenes with this effect by using basic glows and distortion effects.